Hey everyone, happy World AIDS Day. It's a day to celebrate the fact that we are being able to not have this be a death sentence anymore. I think it's a really great day to celebrate that. And the fact that stigma is still something that we fight against, but you know what? We are fighting against it and it's getting better and better for a lot of us. And the fact that we can stand proud and just be who we are and be fine. And that's a really important thing to me and a lot of other people, you know. So happy World AIDS Day, everybody. Um, I wanted to tell you, I don't, I'm not going to really do a whole lot to celebrate this year. Last year I went to a luncheon and got to be with some of my long-term survivor friends. And it was really cool. And we had a really good time. And I got a lion hat, which is hanging right up there behind me <laughs> and it was pretty awesome I got to hang out be a lion for a while and it's it was really awesome but um, this year I have to work so I wanted to do a quick video and um, maybe give a little advice on the what you can do to have a better long-term survivor life you know and uh, maybe just give a little hope to people out there you know oh you can see some of my harvest above me that's the crazy stuff that's been going on for me and um, just crazy regular stuff. I haven't gotten to do a video in a while because um, all the blackouts and everything were happening right when I was harvesting. So I didn't even have like a minute to think. And uh, you can see there's more up there across the room. And uh, please excuse my laundry behind me. <laughs> but yeah, I've been in the middle of harvest and it's been a really crazy year. Um, a lot of people's medicine was going way past when it was supposed to, to be ready and ripe. And we've been really having a lot of difficulty with that. And uh, yeah, so it ended up having to come down quickly, even though it wasn't totally done. So it's still gonna begin, but it's not gonna be as uh, sedative and couch locky as it was supposed to be. But it's all good, you know, it's what you have to deal with when you garden and, you know, have that kind of life. And um, with my regular job, all the stuff's been going good there. My boss, he's an excellent grower, and some of his stuff we're going to get to sell at the Emerald Cup. And that's a big deal here in the area. It's the outdoor competition for cannabis, and um, he has really done a good job with a bunch of his strains, and so he's going to have some there to sell. I don't know if he's going to have any in the competition, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So life's been really good and I've been just trying to live my best life and uh, I feel bad I don't get more videos out, but I'm trying to get the rhythm down with working and trying to still be able to function. And um, I didn't want to do a video the other day when my back was frozen up and all that because I was in so much pain I didn't even think about a video. <laughs> I was just trying to get an appointment with the chiropractor and thinking if he had one available. There's nowhere without glare, <laughs> except for maybe like that where you're looking at my my dog. But <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> my ADHD. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, it was really crazy a week ago. Actually, two weeks ago, my back froze up, and it was right as I was trying to harvest, and it was horrible, and I could barely move, and I had to spend the day with the heating pad on and off, and you know, just chilling, and then the days after that, I had to spend, like, having modified work, and even more than I usually do, <laughs> and yeah, it's been really, really crazy and really hard trying to get back into work and having all these physical issues come up, and um, I really think that I should have tried to be in better shape the whole time that I was injured, but, you know, how better shape can you be in while you're injured and on your own. I mean, the doctors don't give you a program to stay in shape. They don't try to help you with that. They just go, oh, you're injured, be on disability, get the help you need or whatever and all that. But they don't try to give you any kind of help to stay fit or to be healthier. They just go, here you go. And just go sit around and try to be better. And it's like, that's not how you can try to be a health, you know, not maybe not be better. I mean, all the things that I have wrong, you can't just fix them because it's like bone loss and deterioration and you know stuff like that bone spurs and they're super painful and they won't operate so there's really not a whole lot I can do except for just be in pain and grow my medicine so I can make oil so I don't be in so much pain and then try to find workout programs to stay healthier and more fit and able to work and stuff so 
yeah, it's been a lot, a lot of going on since the last video when we had that power outage, and um, which was like not even a whole month away, or a month ago. It, that was right before Halloween, and um, yeah, it's been a lot going on since then. It's been cold and it's weird here, and yeah, like I said, a lot of people's crops are not doing as well as they should have, and so it's been pretty crazy. But yeah, oh, I found a kind of no glare, <laughs> but now my thumb's in the way. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell people about uh, a World AIDS Day and um, maybe give a couple tips on maybe how to live their best life as far as if you have HIV or any other illness. Just try to be as strong as you can be and stay, stay as healthy as you can be and just try to, you know, live the best life you can. Somehow try to do something that you feel is good inside and whether it's through your work or through your free time or... You know, even if you can just, all you can do is go on a computer because you're so hurt or whatever. Just do something that's beneficial rather than something that's hurtful. And be, you know, be good to yourself and to others around you. You know, and take care of yourself. Find things that maybe your meds might do in the future, like to the long-term effects. Like, I didn't know that my, my meds were going to take all my calcium and make my bones degenerate and all that. I didn't know that. And if I had been told that, I probably could have counteracted that a little and been more adamant about working out or staying fit or, you know, just taking more calcium or, you know, more vitamins or something. And, you know, instead of like just a regular multivitamin, I could have taken more calcium or more things that could have helped counteract that and just been stronger with my muscles and stuff like that. But the doctors don't like to admit that there's going to be any side effects from the meds and, to be honest, there are. There are side effects for long-term users, and it's what we have to deal with. I mean, it's it's die or take meds, and unfortunately, the pharmaceutical companies and the doctors don't want to tell you that there's going to be long-term effects and that there's going to be side effects and the things you can do to counteract it. It sucks. I mean, when you go get antibiotics, they go, make sure you eat yogurt or you're going to have an issue. They don't say anything about HIV meds. They don't say take extra calcium, do these extra things, and make sure it's available. They don't check on you about that. They don't talk to you about it. Most doctors don't even think about it. And when you ask about side effects and all that, they go, no, 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 you're not going to have any side effects. It's just going to be these basic ones that are already listed. Nothing long-term. And it's like, yeah, it can affect you long-term. But you can fight it, you can counteract it, and you can still live your best life. So that's my advice is <laughs> you live your best life, be as healthy as you can, try to find something that makes you happy <clears throat> so you can be happy with all the people around you and whatever. And yeah, just try to do, be your best person and yeah, <laughs> take your meds and just do something to counteract the side effects that are long term. Find out what they are. Even if your doctor doesn't want to admit it, find out from the pharmaceutical companies. Keep asking questions. Because if I had known, I probably wouldn't be in this bad of shape. And I could have been counteracting it a long time ago. You know, but they didn't really have a plan for that. So, you know, maybe they weren't, they, they weren't expecting us to live this long. <laughs> but now they should be. And now you should be able to be, have available more stuff about side effects and more stuff about how to counteract them and you know how to deal with that so I wasn't trying to have this turn into a long video but here we are <laughs> and um, happy World AIDS Day everybody <laughs> so I just wanted to say that happy World AIDS Day and I need to start doing more videos but it's been super crazy so I think I'm just gonna have to start doing some more short little videos of stupid crap that I'm doing and just stupid everyday things you know that are just me and what I do and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll like it. <laughs> but anyways, peace to everybody and uh, happy World AIDS Day. <laughs> and thanks for watching.